What's up guys, Air Project here from Studio Prime HD bringing you a tutorial on Cinema 4D and apparently I'm a poet and I didn't even know it so I'm going to show you how you make the uh, metaballs thing we got going on right here as you can see uh, I'm going to show you how you make that a lot of people are doing this now on YouTube um, YouTube seems to go through a phase where everyone does the same thing then after a after a couple of weeks or even a month then they'll move on to something else etc etc I might make a little series out of this where I'm going to show you how you do a lot of these things alright so open up Cinema 4D and before you get started I change my render settings um, I've got my preset right there it's a 128 UI 720 um, yeah you're better doing this just before you start just get your sizes right so nothing gets messed up like your camera angles and stuff Alright, then when you're in here, you're gonna make a sphere real quick, like this. Oh, well, not real quick, there's no rush, but just make a sphere and then we're gonna create a cloner object and drag your spear into your cloner object. Alright, then your mode. This, pretty much from now on, it's all about customization and whatever you think looks best, but I like to just stick it on radial. And I put the countdown to like 4 or something, and just up the radius like so. So we've got this. And when we've got this, we're going to go on more graph, random uh, vector. And you can see now things have got messed up a little bit, which is good. Um, and if it's not been messed up a little bit, go ahead onto your effects tab on your cloner object. And if there's no random effects in here, you can just drag and drop it in like that. Alright, so now we've done that, we're going to go on this little icon here, which is the array icon hold that down and go on metaball and then you want to drag and drop the cloner object into the metaball and as you can see things are starting to get a little interesting and the first thing you want to do is lower down the editor subdivision to something around 4 as a trick don't put it down to 1 because yeah, Cinema 4D may start lagging which we don't want then when you've done that you want to mess around with a couple of these settings um, oh, in fact, no, go back, go right back to metaphors, I forgot this. You want to turn up the hull value, H-U-L-L value, not sure what it is, hull, whatever. Turn that up to whatever you think. I'm going to turn it up to like, um, I'll put it on 211, just for the heck of it. And then you want to move around some of these until you get a pretty cool looking one. Um, Let's see what we got. Blah 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 blah. Um, then you can go on your cloner objects as well, and you can mess around with some of this until you get to quite an interesting looking one, um, like so. And then when you've done that, um, actually no, I'm not too keen on that. Let me just change this up a little bit. Okay, I think I'm just about happy with this now. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I actually turned the red, I actually turned the amount of spheres down just to make it look better. And then when you've done that, you can go ahead and slap a material on that thing. Um, I'm just going to use a one that I saved. Um, this one right here, drag and drop. Um, there we go. That's pretty much how you make that little little meta ball kind of thing, which everyone does. And now you can do it too, yay. So yeah, let me just put a background on this, a nice white one. There you go, there's the meta ball. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, please leave in the comments anything else you'd like to see. Like I said, I'm going to make a series out of this. I'll try and think of some more overused stuff in Cinema 4D. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, no, I'm not going to make you an intro. Um, please stop asking. We get lots and uh, lots of requests about making intros. And now we're going to stop doing them for free unless we approach you or we've really got nothing else to do. Because we get a ton of messages and it's really driving us up the wall. So please calm them down. Um, unless you're going to pay, the answer's probably going to be a no. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, Goodbye, I guess.